What's up, Gaming Nation? We're moving on from our $500 PC build, and now we're taking a look at our $600 gaming rig. At this price point, you can put together a machine that will run everything at ultra high res. At least most games. You might come across a new game or two that's super intensive, but you know, for this build, we're going to solve a major issue that we had on the CPU. The i3-3220 is really a good processor, but the i5-3470 is where it really starts to get good. Now, you might want to uh, spend an extra 30 bucks and jump to the i5-3570K if you're an overclocker. If not, then it might not be worth the extra, the extra money to upgrade to that. Uh, if you can overclock, and do a good job of it, then the i5-3570K is really all you need from $500 clear up to $2,000. I'll end up upgrading it before we get to the $2,000 mark, just for those of you looking for hyper-threading in the i7-3770K, but the i5-30, uh, the i5-3470 is really a good processor for the money in this in this area. You can also take a look at the FX8350 from AMD, which is another really good processor. It's not going to have as good single threaded performance, which is what you're looking for in games, but it's still a really great processor. If you use a lot of multi-threaded applications or you have a lot of applications open and you want that 8-core performance, then the FX8350 certainly has some advantages in that aspect, but again, not in others. In single threaded performance, gaming performance, maintaining FPS, that's what you want the i5-3470 for. Uh, for graphics card, we're going to go with the GTX 650 Ti Boost that we had in the last build. You can certainly upgrade uh, by spending about $50 more and go with the 660 here, maybe 660 overclocked version. But, uh, you know, I felt like the CPU was a, was a bigger deal here simply because the 650 Ti Boost does such a good job for so little money. It just seemed like a, a no-brainer right here. In this build, we're going to upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to switch to the Corsair Vengeance simply because of its price. Uh, we're not particularly looking for gaming RAM or anything uh, like that. Uh, I'm not particularly looking for for anything but but a reliable brand because lower cast latency isn't going to help you out on your on maintaining a a higher FPS in gaming. So you don't want to just automatically purchase expensive RAM. You want to put that towards your graphics card and your processor. Uh, for motherboard, we're still with the MSI 861M-P31, still a micro motherboard. Same power supply in the Logisys PS550 and the hard drive we've upgraded to the WD5000 AAKX 500 gigabyte hard drive sticking with the same optical drive uh, over overall uh, I'll put some benchmarks in the description below overall you're gonna have um, a really awesome computer at the $600 price level um, things only get better from here but if $600 is all that you can afford you could still have a gaming PC with pretty much nothing lacking. You're, you're not going to lack on your gaming experience. You're not going to have to run in a lower resolution setting or anything like that. Okay, that's really it for our $600 gaming PC build. This video, once again, was uploaded in June of 2013. I'm going to be maintaining these videos every single month on my website, so be sure to go to the website if you're looking at this at a different time. Prices vary and change and fluctuate every single day. So this is one way that you can look. I've got uh, some options there where you can actually one click to price check all of the components that I have in this list. And you'll also get my new recommended components. Most of them are either going to be on rebate or sale or just a good price overall. Uh, be sure to check out my $750 gaming PC build coming up next. We're going to jump up $150 and then after that we're going to jump up in $250 increments simply so that we, we have a little bit more to talk about at each price point level. Also, if you guys like this video, then pre please press that like button and subscribe below. It really means a lot to me if you'll do so. And be sure to check the description for up-to-date information always. I try to keep the description at least up-to-date because I know a lot of people come to these videos after they're a little bit expired, a little bit old. So continue checking the description. Also, if you have a PC build that beats this build at any point in time, please leave it in the comment section below. People love to see this kind of stuff. I love to talk about PC builds. I love to see where hardware is going. I love to, to watch the trends. So I want to hear from you guys and see what ideas that you have. Stay tuned for the $750 build video.